part of our capital program we were due to refurbish a number of our community living schemes, living schemes uh, sheltered accommodation in essence um, and they were, some of them were really major refurbishments we decided to look at upgrading the existing telecare system uh, we were conscious that in 2025 we had to do the digital switch over um, and when we looked at our existing provider we asked them if they could meet that requirement and also to give us a price on upgrading the system and we were unaware about that there were other companies who offered the same service they gave us a price which is not very competitive and they also told us they couldn't at the moment didn't have the technology to be able to go fully digital we then started work in one complex we were about to place the orders yeah. and then we found that in that price that we were provided there were, there were a lot of hidden costs so the price we had was not the original price it kind of like doubled and it made it then oh this is a lot of money we're spending um, we weren't going to future proof it so we decided to look at what other systems if any were out there and that is when Richard looked at it and tech took up the mantle to start looking and researching when we started looking into the market we found that there, there wasn't a, a massive amount of people providing telecare options um, but the ones we did look into some of them didn't have the correct accreditation other people uh, other providers were looking at um, more securing the property rather than securing the residence so mm. um, when we done it we kind of whittled it down to three providers and we went out to them then asked them what their system could provide us because we had a, a wish list if you like we asked them to come in and do some demonstrations for us show, them, show us their system um, working and you know, we were able to make a decision for them and all that yeah, and that decision was not based on cost it was really based on the service provider and how best we could accommodate their requirements yep so we had this wish list and then we were ticking them off and we found that Apello could meet virtually every all of our requirements yeah. where the other two couldn't so no it was not be it wasn't based on cost because Apello were not the cheapest but they did meet all of our requirements with the, our digital monitoring we like to keep um, our monitoring within our own Cardiff council um, the issue we had was bringing your Apello system into the Cardiff Monitoring Centre. Um, well, the platform which we're currently using is uh, well, it was based for an analogue system, uh, which was a closed, um, protocol. Platform, closed protocol platform. We had to get a system which allowed us to monitor the Apello system. Um, in the interim, we couldn't do any monitoring. However, we needed to get the system up and running. So Apello took on the monitoring for us whilst we got our issue sorted with the platform. And we're due to go back live soon. So we'll take the monitoring then back off Apello and keep it back in Cardiff as previously. Um, the transition from the old system to the Apello system, and um, to be honest, was probably more stressful for me than it was for the residents only because of the time of year which we were doing it, which was around Christmas time. Um, obviously going over to a new system is, is scary anyway, but um, aware that we were going to be down to skeleton staff and people being on leave. So I was a bit worried about that. However, it went seamlessly. Um, the residents were none the wiser about it all and everything went smoothly and it's still working good today. Yeah, the experience has been a good experience from um, the very start up until the installation. As we mentioned, we've got one site up and running at the moment, which seems to be going well. However, we have learned lessons from it. Um, we carry out uh, assessments on each residence. Now we've identified that there's a couple of residents which are hard of hearing. And because the interface unit is located in a specific place, they sometimes have trouble hearing the alarm system that goes off on this unit. What we've done, we can change the interface unit to a Bluetooth unit a little bit more expensive but there's lots of benefits we can um, connect bluetooth speakers to them so uh, they can hear 
the alarms or the door calls going off from wherever they are. Um, if those people, if there are people which have mobility issues, we can issue them with um, a fob which allows them to open the front door from wherever they're seated. Again, this is a Bluetooth connectivity uh, issue. So we've learned a lot um, from the first install, which we've now taken on board, and we're progressing these into all the uh, subsequent sites which will be coming up. Yeah, I think thing. we've had a really good service off apparel and from our initial contact we made all the way through mm -hmm. to the presentation to our going back and forth with some of the requirements and some of the technical bits we've had nothing but very good advice yeah. haven't we all, all the way through um, it was the information and advice before we went live with the site it was the installation advice and then after that we've done the review in the first centre didn't we last week yeah, yeah. to see and try to iron out any problems and then how we could improve going forward into the other system. And so we're also to take, they're able to take on our monitoring for us yeah, yeah. transitioning in that um, aspect as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, all good.